Okay, so hi, my name is Kelly, and um, a lot of my friends have done these videos online of them putting on their incredible Synergence products, um, so I thought I would do it, even though I'm pretty sure the only two people who are going to watch this are my mom and my dad, but um, if not, I have been selling lip scents um, and Synergence for a couple months now and have fallen head over heels with all of their products. Um, they're all anti-aging and they all stay on like all day long and I am set up um, in the most ghetto location ever like sitting on the floor of my bedroom because like I live in New York City and I don't have a desk to do this nor do we have the um, luxury of doing our makeup um, in a bathroom because I live with other girls and our bathroom is like yay big um, so I'm sitting on the floor of my bedroom yeah it's so ghetto so anyways here we go um, I washed my face and showered and then I put on our anti-wrinkle treatment because like I'm 28 yo and um, gotta start with the anti-wrinkle treatment and one of the things I love the most about all of our products is that they all are like airtight containers so um, it pushes up from the bottom so you're never losing product. Um, it's pure product in there it's nothing there's no air contained in there so I love it I love it so much and then afterwards I put on our climate control in that um this is just a tester packet um to show you but I love climate control and it is an anti-aging moisturizer and it's kind of like a gel um, and it feels so good it's like gold in a bottle it's so moisturizing and then after that I um just put on regular um day lotion moisturizer with an SPF because my mama raised me right and you've got to wear your SPF um every day and I'm so glad that my mom taught me that at an early age okay so to get started this is my most favorite new thing it's the anti-aging foundation and I wear mine in um almond because I'm really light skinned um but I love it so so much so um it's also like our anti-wrinkle um treatment and that it's in an airtight container so pure product in there. There's no air contained in there. There's no nothing. And I'm completely fresh faced and, um, I'm going out with some of my friends tonight in New York city. So I'm going to put on some foundation, which I don't, I used to never wear, um, until I, tr I tried this stuff because I love it so much. I love the coverage. So again, almond, it's called make sense anti-aging foundation. They also have it in non anti-aging, but like, why not? You know? Um, so I'm just going to put about, hmm, that much on that's actually probably way too much because um I don't think I'm gonna need that much but we'll see so I have my little egg my beauty blender I love it it's gross I probably need to clean it um so anyways I'm just going to put random little dots of this guy all over all over and it's gonna make me look ghostly white which is a-okay um Anyways, yeah, so I live in New York City. I've been living here for seven years. I love it a whole lot. It's stupid expensive. Oh, yeah, getting it on the lips, you look so freaking terrifying. Um, yeah, and when I was home in Oklahoma, which is where Synergence, um started in Lip Sense, um, a whole bunch of my girlfriends were wearing it and loving it, and even my sister-in-law. So I tried it and fell head over heels in love with the lip sense products and um loved how long they lasted loved that they exfoliated my lips loved um that I couldn't wear it off that it wanted to come off on my coffee cup that it had all of these um great gosh what's the word I'm looking for great characteristics to it that was my bluetooth player turning off um I love that it had so many great traits in um things that it does for your lips and for your skin. So I decided to become a distributor because it was only $55 to become a distributor. And when I heard that some of my girlfriends were making like five grand a month selling it, I was like, please sign me up because there were no monthly premiums. You didn't have like a boss, um, you know, pounding down your throat about it. Um, and I actually even know of people that are making 40 grand a month from selling it, which I think is like bananas crazy. Um, so I thought, why not? And it's been really lucrative. Like my, the thing about it is, is that all of my girlfriends have fallen head over heels in love with it. Um, and this stuff like truly, truly sells itself. So I thought I would do this to show you a little bit more about some of our other products, even though, um, I don't even use them all yet. I'm so stupid excited. Um, okay, so there is 
that. I put it all over my skin. Um, and then I'm just going to push a, or put a little bit of powder on my skin as well. I look so terrifying, but you guys are all friends here. Um, yeah. So anyways, I will show you some of my favorite colors. Um, and I have watched some of these videos online and they just make me laugh because I like, I know nothing about like makeup. I'm by no means a makeup artist. I am not a cosmetologist. I don't know anything. I randomly watch YouTube videos. Even most of the time I don't. I just kind of like do whatever I do. Okay, so I put on powder. Then I'm going to put on a tiny, tiny bit of concealer because one time this girlfriend of mine told me to put it on after and I was like, okay, I don't know anything. Um, about makeup so um, she told me to put it on after I put on my foundation and powder because you want your um, eyes to look lighter and not darker um, which then I was like yeah that actually makes a lot of sense so I'm doing that I'm doing this FYI y'all I'm doing this in front of a um, computer camera and not my actual mirror so Lord only knows what I what I look like and this is so embarrassing in general, but you guys, this is like the best stuff on the market. Um, okay, so did that. And then I just take a little bit of like a darker, not a contour because like I don't know how to do that, to be completely honest with you. Um, so, but I do take a little, I just use like the darker one because I try not to use bronzer anymore because sometimes it makes me look orange and I like don't know what I'm doing with it. So I take like a little brush that looks like this and I just put it beneath my cheekbone because that's what I've seen girls do on Instagram and like I said I don't know what I'm doing um so I kind of put it there and then I'll just kind of go around and um put it on like the outsides of my face okay and then really quickly last thing I do because our blush has been sold out and I'm like dying to get my hands on it because all my girlfriends say it's like the best blush on the market but um right now I'm just using some like random Clinique brush that I probably had for like five years but oh well okay so I've done that and the next thing that we make um that I'm obsessed with is our shadow sense products um shadow scents come in little tubes like this they are liquid to powder and they look like um little they, they look like lip scents but they're skinnier they're uh, more they're smaller um than lip scents but anyways it's called Cinegents lip uh shadow scents and I'm obsessed with them my favorite three colors are pink posy which is not really pink at all it kind of wears like orangey almost copper on my eyelids and I love that because I um I'm a natural redhead and I think I am and anymore I really don't know what color my hair is because I've been getting it highlighted um mocha java which I'm obsessed with and then garnet oftentimes I use as eyeliner or I use it with the pink posy or the mocha java in my creases um but I will show you what they look like so this is pink posy and this is what I wear um all the time oh my gosh the lighting on this makes it look like my skin is 14 shades darker down here than it is up here which I swear is not true um but anyways so this is the um what it looks like it almost looks like a lip sense or a um lip gloss but um I just wanted to let you know that it is liquid to powder so you just put it and I'm gonna look at my mirror right here because I can't do my eyes like that okay so I only put on like that much um because it's super high hyper pigmented um so you don't need you don't put it all over so once you put it on with the um with the applicator or the brush tip um, then you can go and rub it in with your fingers or you can rub it in with, um, a brush, which is what I'm doing. And this is super long lasting. It lasts up to 18 hours, just like the lip sense, but you have one minute to work with it. Um, once you put it on. So once you put it on in the liquid form, you have one minute to work around with it before it sets because this stuff is the bomb.com and it does not come off just like our lip sense. So anyways. This, I swear, it never takes me this long to do my makeup, but I've never tried to, like, talk to anyone slash no one, like what I'm doing right now, um, while doing my makeup. Um, but I do get ready on my bedroom floor. Um, and I usually listen to music, or right now I was just listening to a podcast, 
um, called Unqualified that one of my really good friends turned me on to, and it's Anna Ferris, whom I love, and Chris Pratt, her husband, who I also love, um, and they give unqualified advice, and it just, like, makes me laugh out loud. I just was listening to the one with Milo Ventimiglia, or however you say his name, and was laughing out loud by myself in my bedroom while I was, um, straightening my hair. Um, okay, so I put Pink Posey all over my eyelids. Love, love it so much and then I think um because I'm kind of going out tonight and I um want kind of more of like a nighttime look I'm going to put um garnet in my creases so with this um either you can um just dab it with your brush from the rim um or the actual stick and put it on or you can just tap a little little bit um into the crease but I think I'm going to wipe some of the excess off and just dab like that um, before I start rubbing it in. So, I'll show you kind of what I do here. Um, but then I'm going to look in the mirror because, um, because I can't do it into a TV screen. So anyways, it's a little bit darker, or it is darker now that I did that. Um, I have really light eyelashes. My entire face doesn't come together until I put on mascara. Um, because I have natural blonde hair. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Oh my god, I can't see. This is hysterical. I can't do it. Okay. There. Did it again. Um, love it. The love the fact that um, one of my favorite things about the Shadow Sense is that it is like liquid um, liquid to powder. Um, you don't get like the little specklies when you put it on. Like that was my least favorite part about eyeshadow back when I wore other makeup. I don't wear any other makeup now other than Cinegents, um for eyeshadow. Um, because I love that it does not fall. And so I don't get it, like, on the rest of my cheeks or on my clothing or anything like that. Okay, so now that I did that, I'm going to put on, um, my liquid eyeliner, which is not Cinegents. Um, but I'm going to get it, but so much has been sold out because this company has grown, like, mad fast. I only wear liquid eyeliner. I know that's super crazy. Um, I don't know how to do the other kind. Like it always like slips. And I know that most people say they can't do liquid eyeliner, um, but it's all I've ever known how to do. I've been doing it since I was a teenager. And um, one of my other favorite little tricks is to take like a super small eyeliner brush and use the garnet and use it as eyeliner. It's brilliant. It's beautiful. It doesn't crease. Um, I probably should have done that tonight, but. Um, I don't know where my eyeliner brush is, so I'm just using this, this little guy. Um, there's a pretty good chance I'm not even going to publish this video because I'm going to be way too embarrassed to do it because this is like super outside my comfort zone. Um, but whatever. It might just be one of those things that um, when I'm old and I'm going back through my computer or my hard drive, I'll be like, holy smokes, I was such a dummy for doing stuff like that. But um, I actually watched this really good video today of um, this girl who was talking about like selling online products or selling products online and using social media like Facebook and Instagram and just like not being embarrassed by it because we all have to make a living and um, you got to do what you got to do. We're all just hustling. And especially if you're passionate about the products like I am, um, I'm just like, forget it. This is something I love and it's helping me bring in more income. I work for a church. I, um, I love my job more than anything, but it's not like I'm banking working in ministry. And especially because I live in the most expensive city like in the world. So, um, I have no shame in this hustle game of, um, Synergence and Lip Sense, um, and all of our products like Shadow Sense and the foundations and the anti-wrinkle treatments and all of that. I love this mascara. Don't tell Synergence. Okie dokie.
not too bad. Um, I think one of the things I really want to do um, is get lash extensions, but like I love taking care of my skin and I can't imagine not being able to like wash my eyes every night. If anyone has any insight into that, I would love it. Um, so one of the things, um, that was disgusting. I can't believe I just did that on, on the freaking computer and potentially if I'm brave enough in front of other people. Um, so one of the things to make sure you do before you apply, um, lip is to make sure your lips are clean. Um, because, or else the bond won't be able to take place, um, as well as it should. So I was just making sure my lips are a little bit clean. And this is all my lip scents. It's absurd how much I love it and, um, and how many I have. So what should I wear tonight? Hmm. I love Purple Rain. Um, but I don't know if that's the vibe I'm going for because this is a super bright purple, purpley pink. And I'm kind of like going out and it's so cold outside. So I might go for something a little bit darker. Um, okay. I actually might go for Napa. Napa's great. It's like a cult favorite. So one of the things you always do is you shake, um, shake, shake, shake to make sure um, all the little particles are evenly distributed. Okay. So you shake it. And then I always kind of like dab off the sides. Um, and then one of the things you have to do in applying lip scents is you go from one side to the other. You never go back and forth like this. Um, I don't know why. I don't claim to be a scientist. I think probably has something to do with the bond. Um, and then the same, I mean, I do it this way so you guys can watch and see how you do it. Or maybe you have a different um, technique or whatever, but this is what I do. Okay. Okay, and then you do three layers of that and you don't touch your lips, <laughs> which is really hard. You don't, you try not to touch your lips together in between. I always shake it in between each one. You definitely don't have to do that. So shake, shake, shake again. I like the color. I think that, um, and it, yeah, I like the color of Napa a lot. It has a light shimmer to it. So you do it again. I've never tried to do this in anything other than a mirror. Okay. And then you um, wait for it to dry in between each application. And then you do it three times total. So this is going to be my last time. All things considered, I didn't do too out of a job not doing it in um, a mirror. And then, okay, so I let that let, let that one dry completely, and then you'll put on you top it with the gloss, which you have to do, or else it's like sticky. Okay, and then the gloss you can do however you want it. All right, um, I had my bangs like this because um, to do my makeup, um, I'll have to go fix those in a second. But yeah, thanks for getting ready with me. And then to prove it, because this stuff is like stupid insane. Only the gloss, baby, only the gloss. But yeah, I'm ready to go out. Um, I swear on my life, it usually takes me like five minutes total to do my makeup, but 20 minutes later, um, thanks for watching with me. Um, now I'm going to go ponder if I'm actually going to post this or not, if I'm going to be brave enough, but I love y'all. Um, Facebook me, text message me, find me on Instagram. Um, if you have any more questions, because I love this stuff and I'm super passionate about it. So 